our today's topic is law of equipartition of energy now these are the today's topic content first we see the statement of law of equipartition of energy degrees of freedom expression for law of equipartition of energy and application of law of equipartition of energy to specific heat of gases here we see the law of equipartition of energy this law was first given by maxwell and it's state that the torque for any dynamical system in thermal equilibrium the total energy is equally divided among all degrees of freedom and average energy associated per molecule per degree of freedom is half kt where k is the boltzmann constant and t is absolute temperature of gas if system having n degrees of freedom then its average total energy is n by 2 kt and we will prove here how the total energy or average energy associated per molecule per degree of freedom is half kt first of all you must know what is degrees of freedom degrees of freedom we find for monoatomic gas diatomic gas triatomic as well as polyatomic gas now we see what is this now here we see what is mean by degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is defined as the number of independent variables which must be known to completely identify the position of the body in motion it means if the body is in the motion in a three dimensional space and we have to describe the particular state or the position of the body at the particular point then to identify that position we require the number of independent variables and these variables are along x axis y axis and z axis means every moving body has number of independent variables that depend independent variable identify the position of the body or the state of the body when it is in the motion for mono atomic gas it has 3 degrees of freedom means mono atomic gas for example argon neon helium that gas molecule have only one atom such a molecule can move in space anywhere hence its velocity gets specified along the three components three axes velocity components along x y z axis therefore for mono atomic gas it has 3 degrees of freedom for diatomic gas for example h2 n2 o2 hydrogen nitrogen oxygen every molecule has two atoms combined together if these two atoms are joined together so as to form a dumbbell shape such a dumbbell shape gas molecule can rotate as well as translate along the coordinate axis for diatomic gas it has 3 degrees of freedom under translation motion 
and two degrees of freedom under rotational motion. Therefore, total number of degrees of freedom for every diatomic gas molecule has five degrees of freedom. If a gas contains more than two atoms in a molecule, for example, triatomic gas or polyatomic gas, such a polyatomic gas or the triatomic gas, example, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, these are the example. Such a gas molecule form a one triangle and that here is triangular gas molecule has translation motion as well as rotational motion. It has three translation motions and three rotational motion. It possesses three rotational motion about the three mutually perpendicular axes. And therefore, every triatomic gas molecule has six degrees of freedom. Now we see here we find expression for law of equipartition of energy. According to kinetic theory of gases, the mean kinetic energy of the molecule at temperature T is given by the equation half mc square is equal to 3 by 2 kt. What is c? c is the c square mean square velocity of the molecule. k is a Boltzmann constant. That mean square velocity c square is equal to u square plus v square plus w square where u v w are the velocity component along x y and z direction. As the x y z are equivalent the mean square velocity along x y z axis must be equal therefore we write u square is equal to v square equal to w square and it means if u v w are equal then what is the c square c square must be equal to c uh, u square v square or w square these are equivalent and it must be equal to one third c square now we see here yeah? put the value of c square 3 u square equal to 3 v square equal to 3 w square therefore the equation 1 we write here half m c square is to be 3 u square is we write the one term c square has the three components u v and w for x component half of m 3 u square y component velocity half of m 3 v square equal to half m 3 w square and that must be equal to 3 by 2 kt now we simplify each component half m 3 u square must be equal to 3 by 2 kt second component must be equal to 3 by 2 kt third component must be equal to 3 by 2 kt therefore first equal, first uh, term we simplify half m 3 u square equal to 3 by 2 kt this 3 we take on the other side half m u square is equal to 1 third into bracket 3 by 2 kt simplify this one side 3 3 gets cancel and we get half of kt similarly the second component half m v square equal to half kt and third component half m w square is equal to half kt hence we can say that the average kinetic energy associated with each degree of freedom is equal to half kt and this is the law of equipartition of 
אנרגי. Now we see the next term. What is the application of law of equipartition of the energy to specific heat of gases? Here we consider at absolute temperature the one mole of gas contain n number of molecules where that n number of molecules we say it is an Avogadro's number since Avogadro's number means number of molecules in a one mole of gas. Therefore, that n is the Avogadro's number. If small n is the number of degrees of freedom, then the average kinetic energy is for one molecule is n by 2 kT. Since we find earlier the law of equipartition of energy, average kinetic energy per molecule is half kT per degree of freedom. But here for n degrees of freedom, what is the kinetic energy, average kinetic energy it is n by 2 kT for one molecule. And we assume that the energy you associated with one gram mole of gas, since one mole of gas contain we know n number of molecules. For such a one mole of gas, how much energy is associated? That is the capital U. Hence, U is equal to N is the number of molecules multiplied by its average energy for N degrees of freedom. Since average kinetic energy of one molecule for N degrees of freedom is N by 2 kT. And one mole of gas contain n number of molecules hence energy associated with one gram mole of gas is u is equal to n multiplied by capital n into small n by 2 kt here n into k n is the constant number of gas molecules constant of a given mole of gas one mole of gas k is a boltzmann constant that is constant is n into k is constant that constant is known as universal gas constant and therefore energy associated with one gram mole of gas is n by 2 rt r is a universal gas constant now we suppose if we consider cv is the molecular specific heat of gas at constant volume That CV specific heat is the rate of change of energy. Hence, du by dt is the specific molecular specific heat at constant volume. Now we simplify this term. Here, d by dt of u, u term you know, n by 2 rt. Therefore, difference is n by 2 rt with respect to t. We write the equation CV equal to d by dt of n by 2 rt differentiation with respect to t means n by 2 r. Next, if Cp is the molecular specific heat of gas at constant pressure, then we write one relation Cp minus Cv is equal to r. Therefore, we separate Cp term in that equation. Cp is equal to Cv plus R. Cv term we calculate earlier. We substitute directly here. Cv is N by 2 R plus R. Therefore, both term contain R take common. And inside the remaining terms we write inside the bracket N by 2 plus 1. This is the Cp. Then we take the ratio Cp and Cv term. Cv is calculated earlier n by 2 r and Cp is r into n by 2 plus 1. 
is the ratio of the two specific heat of gas Cp by Cv is constant. That constant we write gamma. Now, what is this specific heat ratio? After simplifying numerator and denominator term, we get the equation RR cancel n by 2 plus 1 divided by n by 2. It means it is 1 plus 2 by n. That specific heat ratio is given by the equation number 4 and it depends upon which one. N means degrees of freedom for monatomic, diatomic and triatomic gas. Hence, firstly we find what is the specific heat ratio for monatomic, diatomic and triatomic. We see the different cases. Now, case first. Monoatomic gas. You know it. Monoatomic gas has 3 degrees of freedom. Therefore, what is the specific heat ratio? 1 plus 2 by n equal to 1 plus 2 by 3. That is equal to 1.67. That ratio, specific heat ratio is experimentally verified for monoatomic gas and that is the same value. Diatomic gas has 5 degrees of freedom. Therefore, the specific heat ratio for diatomic gas is 1 plus 2 by n that equal to 1 plus 2 by 5 equal to 1.4 that also gets experimentally verified for diatomic gas. For triatomic gas or polyatomic, since it contains more than two atoms, such a gas molecule has 6 degrees of freedom and specific heat ratio is 1.33. Since degrees of freedom is 6, simplify this term, we get 1.33. In the specific heat ratio for triatomic gas also gets experimentally verified. 